All right, we're back once again. Today, I wanted to let you guys know, I think I discovered my clear coat. Um, that was one thing I was a little worried about. I just, I, I didn't know what kind of clear coat I wanted to go with on the suit. Um, I really was just thinking about maybe going automotive grade and using a two-part automotive paint, either a gallon kit that I can uh, spray out with a with an automatic, with an HVLP spray gun, or, I could have got a 2K spray can. The 2K cans, they could run roughly 20, 25 bucks a can. And the problem with the 2Ks is they usually have a little button here on the bottom that you press and you activate the hardener and you mix it up and you really only have a 48 hour window to, to finish that can off. I really didn't want to worry about having only 48 hours to print this whole entire suit. And not only that, I really didn't want to spend a whole lot of money on clear coat for the suit. Because when I'm wearing it out, I really just don't want to worry about getting it scratched. And if it does get scratched, I can come home, use a cheaper clear coat, touch it up, make it look, you know, as good as new. So with that being said, uh, Duplicolor is on perfect timing right now. Because they just came out with a new clear coat called Duplicolor 1K Clear Extreme Gloss Finish. Now a lot of clear coats brag and boast of being high gloss. Now Duplicolor boasted of extreme gloss and most of the time they don't come out very glossy at all. Um, and if you do get them really glossy it usually takes quite a bit of prep work and buffing. Um, and some 1K clear coats are really, really finicky. I mean, some of them will eat your paints. It just, it really, really depends on what you're using. 1K clear coats are usually not the best clear coats. You can make them work, though. And I did make them work on my last RoboCop suit. On my last RoboCop suit, which was the files made by Do3D, I used this clear coat which is a duplicolor clear coat also this was their last clear coat that they would use i think they still make this actually and i was able to get this pretty glossy if you guys look my suit up you can usually google it uh, just put 3d printed robocop suit and there's quite a bit of pictures that come up in the images bar or the images tab and you can see the gloss that i got with this clear coat and it came out pretty pretty good with this clear coat i i, I was happy with it but this being a new suit, a much better suit, a much more detailed suit, I did just want to try something different and hopefully get a better gloss, and not only a better gloss, but a more durable finish. Not that this isn't durable, it is, but I wanted something just a little bit more resilient, especially when I'm out there wearing it in public, because the last suit I really didn't wear in public. I did one test fitting with it, and then I threw it on a mannequin, and that was pretty much it. So, with that being said, I did a little test piece today. I just wanted to show you guys um, what this 1K clear coat looks like. Now, it boasts of UV protection, it's gasoline resistant, and scratch resistant. Now, it's definitely not going to be ultra scratch resistant. It's definitely going to be able to be scratched, but... Hopefully it'll resist, you know, some minor scuffing that this clear coat probably wouldn't resist very well. Um, I did spray a test piece on my arm here. And I have to say it came out extremely glossy, <laughs> just like it said. And I was just really surprised on how glossy and how well it came out just being a one part clear coat. Now I've used two clay clear coats in the past. You guys can see I have quite a bit of Mustangs and I've done body work on some of them and I've used 2K clear coats. And those usually you can get really glossy, really easily. But the 1Ks take a little more work. But this one, I did one light coat and then I came with a little bit of a heavier coat in this area and it is glossy, like really glossy. This is definitely the best 1K clear coat I, I've ever used, and I've used quite a few. And one thing also, I know you can't really tell in the video because you guys can't actually feel this, but it does feel, it, it, it says that it is a 
scratch resistant surface so that means that it's a little more harder than the the previous clear coat this one was a lot softer um, you could probably dig your fingernail in it it wasn't really that hard but this one I mean you could just feel that it, it's pretty hard now it's definitely gonna scratch I'm sure if I dig my fingernail in there it, it'll scratch but for the most part this thing looks amazing so I'm very happy uh, this clear coat you can get at AutoZone. I want to say it was $15 a can. That's right, it was $15. 1K clear. So if you're looking for a, a pretty glossy clear for your cosplay, your Iron Man, Robocop, or, or whatever, I would definitely highly recommend this. Give this a try. But, you know, next step up, you can get a 2K I think Spray Max makes one, and more than likely you'll get the, f the exact finish you want. But if you want to save just a few bucks and try something that you're not really going to worry too much about it getting beat up or scratched, this is definitely a go-to. So yeah, guys, I just wanted to share that. I found my clear coat. I'm going to use this on the whole suit, and I'm super excited about it. This ain't even buffed yet. I can't even imagine how good it would look buffed. That is awesome. One other thing I did today was, in one of my previous videos, I showed that I used some webbing to hang these, uh, these forearm pieces to the arm. Well, I scrapped the webbing idea, at least for now, and I wanted to go just a little bit more accurate and use some brackets inside, just so these, the forearm stays a little bit more in line. And also when I'm wearing it, it kind of helps to brace the arms up a little more when the gloves are on. So I made these little aluminum brackets with buttons because I already had put buttons in there for the webbing to hang from up here. So all I did was I removed the upper button pieces, put a button in this, drilled a hole there, kind of had to put this on my vise and, and bend it a little bit to get over these these flaps here that are on the outside of the arm and I just drilled a screw in from the outside basically place the button in there the screw from the outside on that flap sticks out there and I just put it right on put a little nut keep it intact and there you go and it also can be mobile and move. So, pretty cool. I'm excited about it. Very, very awesome. The next step is we're going to start painting. We're going to start adding some uh, polyurethane padding in there. I'll we'll probably put some padding right in here to help keep my arm more centered in here. I have some one inch polyurethane padding that'll go all the way around. Also inside the arm, center my arm up a little bit. Um, I'll do a video on that also and, and just kind of show how I do that. It's re really easy. These have some thin walls also, and these kind of like flop around on my forearm. So I'll also do some big padding in here just to keep this also in line. Still a lot of work to do. I know in my last video it looks like, man, that's pretty cool. He's done. But no, still got quite a bit of work. But really cool just looking at that right now it's like wow all the hard work it finally finally paid off but there's still so much more work to do <laughs> as you can see my workshop is quite a mess as usual but yeah thank you guys again for tuning in man that clear coat is just so cool Really, really didn't expect that. I, I had very low expectations for that clear coat. I really thought it was going to just, you know, spray and be dull. But the thing with these clear coats is you have to be patient with them. You do have to go quite heavy on them. That, I think that's one thing people will do. They'll spray it. They see that it's not glossy and they go, oh, this thing's junk. But if you spray a coat and, and, you, and you follow up with some heavier coats... That clear coat starts to build up and it really does start to get glossy. I mean, I made, I made this work. 
And this came out pretty glossy. Not as glossy as I would have liked, but it did come out pretty glossy still with a little bit of patience. But this guy, I didn't do much work at all, and I got that. So I can't imagine when I really actually focus 